Hello everyone, you guys have probably seen the latest videos of me and few other runners where basically the Palico just instant kills Fatalis, which means it can do any other monster too, since they have lower HP. First of all, I think the main credit should go to Kaber for finding this exploit out by accident when doing a Palico only run on Fatalis. His video will be linked in the description. Of course, as a speedrun fanatic I am, I instantly started researching how it works, why it works, by what it is affected, and how to increase its damage, which to be honest didn't take long. There is still certain parts that are unclear, but enough to make it consistent and replicatable. So without further talk, since you guys kept asking for a guide, let's get straight into it. For people that are familiar with the Wyrmstake exploit, you will know that projectile multiplication exploit is involved. Basically, for some reason, the projectiles multiply going through an object within a hitbox, like barrel bombs or snowmans. There is another Gunlands glitch, which I call the Infinite Damage glitch. The WSP glitch works instead with FPS multiplication and can reach over 120,000 damage within a second by triggering each other's WSPs. But after that point, it will crash the game, so we don't really know how far it goes, that's why they named the Infinite Damage glitch. That one is triggered purely by above 90 FPS, and anything more, for example 300, lets you reach that high damage numbers. After testing the Palico exploit on stream, when I was locked at 60 FPS, I realized it can only do around 10 to 20k damage, so it was instantly clear to me that something is wrong, and after rising my FPS to 144, it was consistently going uh, 50 to 66k. So the bad news is, if you're on PS5 with 60 FPS, you can just one-shot monsters below 20k, which is pretty much every non-elder, so it's cool exploit to use there too. PS4 I think is reaching only 30 FPS, so I don't even think it works there. For the PC shenanigans with lower specs PCs, there is amazing EFX nuke modes, which can drastically improve your FPS and reach the 144. Now, how to set it up? Basically just whistle your Mew Cano. You don't have to place bombs or snowmen immediately, it's enough if you put them right before the final explosion of the Mew Cano, which is what literally does all the damage and where the magic happens. So, I assume it just has different projectiles than the constant damage it does. If you look closely, you will see some faded black squares, which is an indicator of too many effects on the screen and proof that you got the multiplication exploit working. You can see similar effects to the WSP glitch. So basically, the trickiest part is to make the monster be on top of the menu cannon when it ends. This can either be done with traps or pulling the monster to it with a violent stealth, but you can get creative with the setups. What is it affected by and how can you increase its damage? First off, anything that buffs the Palico damage, so Hunting Horn, Demon Powder or even Might Peel Demon Drug uh, with a skill wide range. Palico Rally level 5 seems to also affect it. The Palico weapon I'm unsure about because they have a melee and a range value and I've tried the Fatalis weapon which has the highest range damage, but I could also do it with other Palico weapons. I'm pretty sure monster hit zones also affect it, but I can't say with certainty if it's range, sever or ammo type damage. On Fatalis head I was getting grey numbers and on the chest orange numbers, so it seems to me that it's actually range type damage because otherwise it wouldn't be grey numbers on the head, but yeah, not really sure about that, I just know it worked and that was enough. FPS of course as mentioned earlier will drastically increase the damage of it. Shameless small self promotion since I've never done that yet and never announced my second channel. It's basically a backup channel for runs I don't post on my main channel for various reasons like for example I posted 206 Fatalis solo on my main and a 158 on my second channel. I want you guys to experience only quality and non-repetitive content on my main channel. So basically sometimes I just cut one or two seconds of my runs or use the exploit for more monsters or all the exploits because I don't want to spam my channel with the same content. This means you will find there even more insane and fast runs as well it acts as a backup channel in case something happens to my main channel. So I would appreciate it incredibly much if you can subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get partnered and I need 1000 subscribers since I've already reached the fewer goal. It really would mean the world to me and give me some insurance having a backup partner channel. Alright, so that was it. As you saw, it's pretty simple, not much into it, it just works. For further questions, you can hit me up anytime on Discord DMs, in my server, on when I'm live streaming on Twitch. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and see you on stream or in the next video. Happy hunting!